What's going on boys and girls? It's your good pal Jordy here and we've got Memorial Day weekend coming up. It's the biggest weekend on the lacrosse calendar all year and we've got championship weekend in Foxborough. We've got Maryland versus Denver. We've got Towson versus Ohio State. It's championship weekend, final four. It's the best that lacrosse has to offer. And it's gonna be on ESPN all weekend. So even the biggest lacrosse haters in the world are gonna catch themselves tuning into ESPN. So whether you're a first time watcher, an expert, a hater, all the above, whatever, I'm here to hook you up with a nice little lacrosse for dummies tutorial to teach all you bozos what this game is all about. Alright, so let's just get some of the basics out of the way real quick for you bitches. Lacrosse, it's it's 10 on 10. You've got a goalie, you got three D, got three middies, got three attackmen. Games played six on six on either end. If you can't really understand that concept, then maybe sports just aren't for you. Alright, so every game starts with a face-off. After every goal, there's a face-off. After every quarter, there's a face-off. The way it used to work out is the kid who's the worst lacrosse player on the team, usually the one to face off. It's not quite the same thing anymore. It's a different game. Now we got skill guys taking face-offs. It's a whole new world. I don't know. I agree with you. Who cares about the stats and that kind of stuff at this point? Baptiste is going to score. Yes, he will. Oh, man. So, like I said, six on six on each end. The attack, you stay on the offensive end of, of the field. D, you stay on the defensive end of the field. If you want to flip-flop and be crazy, that's whatever. But you always have to have a midi back. So, you need three guys at all time down at attack. You need three guys at defense all the time down on this end of the field. Now, at some point or another this weekend, you're going to see a shot clock coming on. Uh, now, it's not the same thing as basketball. There's not a set shot clock. You know, there, there's not a specific time that it pops on. It's just really whenever the ref feels like being a dick bag and he gets boring trying to watch your team score. So if you're just kind of kicking around the outside every now and then, it takes longer than a minute, the ref's going to hit you with the timer on. you got 30 seconds to take it to the cage. If you shoot, it either has to hit the net or hit the goalie, or else that timer keeps going on. So a possession shot, I can't even take a possession shot right now. Some other terms you're gonna hear this weekend, uh, LSM and SSDM. Now for a lot of you dweebs at home, SSDM probably sounds like a shirt that you would wear out, out on a night on the town. Uh, but it's a short stick D midi. Those are guys who use a regular length lacrosse stick, but they're mostly playing defense, maybe a little bit of transition if they have a good stick or not. And when the ball goes down the offensive side of the field, coaches are going to want to do everything that they can to get those plugs off the field because they're not the ones scoring goals. LSMs, those are guys, they're also middies, but they're playing with a long pole. They've got the, the six foot pole and they're just hacking away, usually at the other team's best midi. So, you heard me talk about long poles. Those are the idiots who are running around there with the giant sticks, um, you know, and, and I got to be honest with you. If you have to play lacrosse with a stick that's six feet long, you're probably making up for something that you're lacking downstairs. Like we always say, you play with a giant stick, you have a little dick. Um, but again, those are guys who, you know, they play with a lot of pent up frustration. They're slashing away, they're hacking away, they're hitting you from behind. They're doing everything that they possibly can to either A, murder you, or B, stop you from scoring. Whichever one of those happens first is, is a win for them. So that's enough about defense. Now let's get to the offensive side of the ball. Uh, something that you're going to hear a lot, especially with guys like Colin Heacock, Matt Rambo, uh, you know, all, all the Towson shooters, you're going to be hearing a lot of top cheddar. Uh, you know, it's something that you hear in hockey. It's what you'll hear in lacrosse. It's just ripping a shot, usually low to high, and stinging that shit right in the fucking corner, and making the goalie want to kill themselves because it's back to four. Snyder with his fourth. How did he get that off? Mark the yardage here. He's at 15, sidearm outside the football hash marks. This view is going to be scintillating. Doesn't get any better than taping a corner like that. Oh my gosh. Indeed, Evan Malloy, the goal. And most importantly, scoring is one thing, but it really doesn't mean anything if you don't sell your ass off later. So, you know, you, you get a nice low to high rip from the wing, you gotta sell you that shit, Ryder Garnsey style. The game winner by Ryder Garnsey, and the Notre Dame wins in overtime. And that's about 
lit. You know, that, that's lax, baby. As you can see, it's raining out here. It's shitty weather, but we still play because we're not pussies like baseball players, all right? We're not going to call a game just because Mother Nature is getting her fucking rocks off upstairs, getting nice and wet. <laughs> so you play through the rain, you play through the snow. It's February to Memorial Day. That's the season. Whoever called it a spring sport is a fucking idiot because it's always freezing cold all year round. But, you know, that, that's all you need to know for you bozos at home who've never watched a lacrosse game before. Hope this was helpful. Now I'm just going to keep staying in corners. <laughs>